afternoon everybody or morning or whatever time of day it is you're watching this so i'm going to do a little bit of an experiment so i've been cleaning out the garage and i found a, a couple of golf clubs that i used to play with when i very first started so i thought i wonder if i can still hit them and if i can if i can hit them any better sorry my speaking's got a bit funny it's bleeding cold out here and everything's just seizing up and i can't talk properly so um yes yeah, so i found a john letters hybrid it's a four hybrid 22 degrees so i used to hit this and i used to hit it quite well when i first started actually but i've since got um, about a year ago maybe it was near two years ago actually now um tailor made four um hybrid which is also 22 degrees now got me thinking i paid a lot of money from it for a tailor made and i probably paid about 30 quid for this which is going to go further i don't know so i've got some balls set out i'm going to hit them off a small tee uh, just to get a bit of height not height but get off the muddy ground and a little experiment to see which one i can hit further so comment below do you think the tailor made will hit further with the yellow ball uh, yellow balls orange balls or the John Letters will hit further with the white balls. Who knows? Let's find out, shall we? So, I'll get my excuses in early. It's cold. I'm freezing. My feet are freezing. And I haven't played properly in a few weeks. We did go to the driving range last week uh, and hit about 50 odd balls just to not forget how to hit it. Sorry, I just heard something in the bushes. I think there's wildlife. I don't really think it's any weird pervy flasher well i'll get a shock if he does come out because i'll whack him with this anyway this is um my tailor-made orange balls i'm it on the ground so yeah so what i was saying was i've not played for a while properly Well, it landed on the fairway but not very far, it hit some branches first. And I think I can see it took a massive divot at the ground first as well. Ugh. Why is it your first shot goes really well and your rest of it goes to... Well, I won't say the word, but you know what I mean. I'm quite happy with them. Considering the conditions, it's wet, it's soggy, it's a bit slippy. They're not bad actually, I'll take them. John Letters. I've already mentioned that both of the flexes are lightweight flexes. In fact, I'm not sure what the Taylor Made is actually. Uh, Taylor Made is a 45 Flex L. John Letters is just says low torque, lightweight R Flex. So it doesn't feel quite as flexible as the Taylor Made, but do you know? Give it a go. Anything. I've hit all three balls. <laughs> 
Well, this is an eye opener. one out of the three. But do you know what? I'm quite surprised by that actually. I'll take you up there so you can have a look for yourself. So we'll call and get this ball on the way. Ah, I found it. The good thing about nobody being on the course is it doesn't matter how long you take. Ugh. Oof, sorry, sorry, didn't need to see that, did you? Right, that's the rubbish one that I hit with the John Letters. I'm really surprised by this, actually. I think the aim of this this vlog is the burning question: Is it is it worth paying out more money for better named equipment? Is it going to do you any better? Well, I think we're about to find out. So, this here is my uh, uh, third shot with my TaylorMade. Right, well, I'm here at my first TaylorMade shot and my first two John Letters shots. See what you think. I'm going to stand so you can see the distance rather than behind the ball so let's just have a have a look at this so this is my first tailor made that is my second john letters now that one is my first john letters which has got to be about a good what seven or eight yards ahead now I've always thought I've hit my um, my hybrid, not bad. Even when I used the John Lesser before, I did, I did hit it quite well. But that just goes to ask the question: is it is it more is it better to get more expensive gear, or just stick with what you can hit? Now, I think I only changed to the Taylor Made because I'd used them in um, on the nine hole par three course in Vegas, and I thought I really like the feel of these, so I went out and got got the uh, got the set. But actually, by the looks of it, I didn't need to. I think since since I bought them in the last sort of nearly two years, 18 months, all I've done is improve my technique, improve my swing path, and improve my speed. Which, if I'd have just applied that to the the, the cheapy one, it's clearly paid off because I've hit further. I've hit a good what eight, nine, maybe it's 10, 10 yards further. Who knows? So the other thing to consider is I think the the Taylor May shaft is a lot. Um, more flexible and the John Letters one's a little bit stiffer so do you know what I'm gonna say here don't you do I need a stiffer shaft because I've got a quite a, I think I've got quite a powerful strike and quite a plow powerful swing or well, my coach has always told me I've got a really good swing and he said if, it's, if he's gonna fit me for a driver now he'd look at a, um, a senior shaft not a lady shaft so The fact that the John Letters is a slightly stiffer shaft, does that mean I do need to actually go for something with a little, little bit more, a little bit less given it, shall we say? But no, food for thought, you know. I think what I'm going to do next time I go out and play nine holes or 18 holes, I'm going to take the tailor made one out of my bag and I'm going to put the John Letters one in my bag. And I'm going to see if I think I've played any better with it. So, what do you think I'm going to do? Do you think I'll play better? Do you think I'm going to. It's just a fluky, lucky first and, and second shot, to be fair, because let's face it, both two, two, two shots equaled one of the, the other more expensive um, club. So I'll leave you there, leave you with that thought. Comment below if you liked it, if you didn't, sorry, uh, better luck next time. I will um, keep you updated with certain things on my Twitter, you know, anything I'm doing next year and keep watching for more vlogs there's a lot to come in 2020 so um i shall see you all soon have a good one